Rhetorical figures may be divided into tropes, figures of thought, involving a change in the meaning of words, and schemes, figures of speech, involving a change in word order. Tropes are often given pride of place. Indeed, classical rhetoric is a polite establishment wherein metaphor rules, irony secretly contends, and wordplay joricks away. Metaphors are problem-solving tools which help us think through a complex or difficult experience in terms of another, simpler or more familiar. The name comes from the Greek for transfer. Metaphorai are also means of public transport in modern-day Greece. Their function is above all heuristic or practical, though aesthetic criteria do apply. Love is a kind of warfare. Ovid. Love is a crocodile in the river of desire. Parthali. A metaphor calls one thing by another's name based on a perceived likeness. It is a comparison between two things expressed definitionally. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. The comparison's point, life comes with choices, just like chocolates come in flavors. Forrest and most viewers remember this metaphor as a simile. Life is like, thus shoring up the view that the two tropes part on a technicality. Metaphors lack comparison words, like, as, etc. But nothing is ever that easy in life and in rhetoric, as the similarity posited by metaphor may be between relations rather than things. The heap of recollection stirred in the muddy waters of the mind, the replacet. This metaphor is an analogy or proportion. Memory is to a clouded mind what a hippo is to a muddy river, a massive, luxuriating, barely stirring dweller. Metaphors have a tenor or subject and a vehicle. Love is the tenor and crocodile the vehicle of the former metaphor we saw. Often the tenor is left out, leading to an implicit metaphor. There is an ocean, and somewhere in its depths a beast steering, Salman Rushdie. We know contextually that shame is the ocean and violence the beast. They also form a complex metaphor as they explore and illuminate each other. A good metaphor establishes connections where none were seen before. It's creative. Generative powers are only matched by its expansiveness. Indeed, when pursued for many lines, an extended metaphor, it can lead to surprising findings like this. Love is a fire. It burns everyone. It disfigures everyone. It's the world's excuse for being ugly. Generally, metaphor is not limited to nouns or poets. Weather is often beastly hot, intensifier, one burns with desire, verb, has a cold heart, adjective, or believes blindly, adverb, plans go south, adverb, etc. It appears language is metaphors all the way down.